What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. E, e, e. No, but for real, welcome back. As you know, I'm Fernando, and from the caption, yes, this is my favorites for the month of January. Wow, I can't believe how January is almost like done, and we're about to go into February. Time flies when you're having fun, right? But yes, a little disclaimer, sorry for the late video. I know everybody's been hitting me up like, uh, hello, when's your next video? You put one out and like, uh, hello? But yes, they're coming out, you know, like, I'm busy and then I do everything on my own. So they are coming. Um, I promise they are coming, coming, coming. After this video, I will be posting more and they will be rolling out more frequently. I promise, promise you guys. But yeah, um, so this video is going to be basically makeup skincare and i have a few things that are not makeup or skincare related that are my favorites for this month every product here mentioned are things that i found myself not being able to put down or stop using for the month of january some of these are not necessarily new but they're new in the sense that i can't stop trying them and i'm using them they may be new to you guys you guys may have never heard of them or wanted to try them out or heard about them and didn't know how they are but here we are um, but yeah, so you already know the drill, like, subscribe, repost, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, and if you want to see what has been added to my favorites of January, keep on watching. So to start off, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. cleansing wipes, I love these babies right here. Um, they remove everything from waterproof to liquid lips that are hard normally to get off. These babies take off everything. Um, when I have makeup on for a look, um, I generally go in with these to wipe everything off and then I'll go in with my cleanser. Um, but yeah, these, as you can see, I'm running low. I need to restock, but these have been my favorite. Next for wiping away, well, actually, I should say cleansing away makeup, the Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel. This bad boy here, love. Like this takes off all makeup, everything. And not only that, but makeup, dirt, impurities, but it leaves your skin baby smooth. And your skin just has a beautiful, healthy looking glow and it just so feels so soft and supple. Oh, I love this. I even use this even without, without having makeup on. Like this has been one of my cleansers. Um, uh, one of my favorite cleansers, I should say. Very good. It's good for all skin types, but um, as you know, anything that is a gel is mostly really good for somebody who is combination to oily, which I am oily. Ugh. But this this baby here, very very good. I very recommend it. I just rec. I not ugh. not only do I recommend it for a good makeup remover or cleanser, but I also re recommend it for a good cleanser if you're looking for a good cleanser in general. After that, one of my favorites is the Origins Out of Trouble face mask. Ugh, this. Now, some of you who follow me on Snapchat have seen me post this on my Snapchat. This mask right here. Ever since I've used it, I cannot put it down. I don't use no other mask. I use this two different ways. If I have a full face that I was of makeup for a look, um, when I take it off, and wash it and cleanse it. I'll go in with this mask here, leave it on for about 10 minutes and wash it off. And then I also use this after the barbershop. Ugh, this helps me not get any like little razor bumps under here. So guys, this cleanser, really, really good. And this cleanser is not just for females or males. This is a unisex cleanser. Um, this brand here, Origins, they make really, really, really good, 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 good products. Another favorite of mine is their um, under eye with caffeine in it, I forgot, ginseng. It has caffeine in it, which caffeine is really, really good for puffiness and dark circles. If you're looking for a good eye cream, I would definitely recommend that. And a good face mask. Ugh, you have a breakout. Even if I have a breakout, let me tell you. Let me tell you, let me tell you. I have like, let's say if I have like a little breakout, I'll use this as a spot treatment. I'll put a little dot, boop, wait about 10, 15 minutes and wash it off. Or I'll sleep with it overnight. Pimple almost gone. This out of trouble because it, it does get you out of trouble when it comes to your skin misbehaving next on my list is the Mary Duke Podescu drying lotion this baby here oh 
Now, again, if you have a little breakout, take a YouTube, uh, YouTube, <laughs> take a Q-tip, dab it in it and plot it. You can wait 15 minutes and remove it. It's on the bottom here, it recommends that you sleep with it overnight. That's how I generally like to use it, unless like I have a really bad breakout that needs to go like now, like, huh, bye. But other than that, this is really, really, really good. Um, like I said, you take a Q-tip, dab it on it, put it, sleep with it overnight, wash it off, pimple, almost gone. Really, 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 really good. Now for, on the same wavelength of face, is the Mario Badescu Oil-Free Moisturizer. Now. Um, I looked this one up on all time. I was like, oh, you're free. Yes, I read the reviews. It had pretty mixed reviews, but it says that this is good for a combination oily and sensitive, which is me. Especially now in the winter time, I am more combination, especially around my beard area. I tend to get a little bit more dry, so I need the extra moisturizer. Um, at first when I started using this, I did not like it because I felt like it was making me look more greasy and more oily and I looked like you could fry an egg on my head. But as the months started progressing and the weeks and the days started getting colder and colder, this has been my fave. Um, I just feel like when it's really cold, I put this on and my skin just like, it absorbs it. Um, now I'm always in the shop for good moisturizers. Um, so anybody who out there knows any good moisturizers for somebody like me who's a little bit more on the oilier side. Um, but I don't like it too too mad because I still like moisture in my moisturizers. But I'm not sure if I will be purchasing this one again. Um, like I said, something like this I would only use now in the winter time where I'm more combination because in the summer uh, I don't need nobody's extra moisture. But um, I don't know. We'll see if I try it again. But I tell, I've been liking it this month. I don't know due to the weather, but hey, it made the less. Lucky you. Next, as far as skin, would be is the new Mac Prep and Prime Oil. Um, they came out with this in two shades. I have the grapefruit and chamomile. Not only does it smell amazing, but it feels amazing on your skin. Like especially if you're dry, you apply this right before your moisturizer, or you can even blend it in with your moisturizer or if you go in blend it in with your moisturizer with your foundation excuse me or if you go in and like dab your foundation and then take your beauty blender or brush and apply a little bit of this on it and go in ugh, this just blends out every product beautifully you have a thick creamy product that's hard to blend out add some couple of drops to this and it just blends it out uh like love this this has been one of my faves i've been using it non-stop next on my list is the brush folio by makeup artist priscilla ono brush travelers they mean majiggy but yeah i love this for traveling and just like organizes my brushes so nice for me it's easy to travel as opposed to like when i go to a client's house and i have my products laid out all over the table and i'm just like no this keeps them organized it keeps them neat and it's simple just like that you're on the way to go put it together let's go and we're out you can even go to the club after doing it like girl what you need oh you need a touch up i got you bam <laughs> but no this i love this love this love this i will be purchasing the bigger one though next time because it did not fit all my brushes so oops Next on the list is the Juvia's Place Nubian Palette. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. Like, oh, the pigment on this, bomb. The way this blends, bomb. Like, I have not put this down. I have been using this nonstop from all my clients. It's just it's just a beautiful neutral palette and then I think I only pay like 17 18 dollars so it's affordable it's owned by an african-american business owner um when I heard about it and so first of all this has been sold out for like so long and when I finally got the email that it was in stock I was like yes buy it right now uh, and again like I said I have not been able to put this down definitely recommend this The next item on my list is a new brand and it's called Makeup Revolution and this is the Ultra Coverage Concealer Palette in Medium Dark. 
Um, first of all, yes, I put some damage to this pad, right? But the way this baby blends, ugh, like I remember putting it on my client, I said, let me try how it is. And I took my Depth Beauty Blender and I began to blend the under eye and I was just like, did it just blend like that? But yes, um, I heard they just recently came out with some highlighters that I am going to be trying out. So that will be in a future video and I'm excited because this really, really, really impressed me. And it's a drugstore brand. So you know a lot of concealer palettes out there, there's so many from high end to non high end and some of them are like really expensive and you're like, is that worth the money? I don't remember what I paid for this, but I do recommend it. It's really, really, really good. Since we're on the same page as concealers, I guess I will go into a concealer that I have not been able to put down. Uh, and I know you guys seen it all over social media and all over the internet, IG, is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Child, the coverage on this baby, like, you do not ever, ever, ever need a concealer again in your life. This concealer covers everything. Like, ugh. Tarte came and slayed the game with this concealer. Now another concealer I'm gonna mention, which is affordable, um, because the tarp, the tarp, the tarp shape tape is about I believe twenty four dollars, twenty eight dollars. Don't quote me, but it's in between that price range. But another one that's affordable that, that covers and has really good coverage is the LA Girl Pro concealers. I have not been able to put this one down, the orange one, especially for like darkness or dark circles. This covers up. Ugh. These concealers blend, they cover. I've been using them for a while and I'm even with the Tarte one, I still find myself still grabbing this one um, here and there. But definitely, definitely a great alternative if you don't want to spend the 20 something dollars. These in the beauty supply store, I believe three, four dollars. So not, not bad at all for the price range and the coverage that they give, ugh, amazing. Next on my list is, should be no surprise, is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Baby, this powder, ugh, the bomb. The bomb, the bomb, the bomb. I use it uh, every day on everybody and everybody. I have no, no, no complaints. Yes, this powder is a little pricey, but it is worth the money. It is worth every nickel and dime because this powder is amazing. The next product on my list, it's not a new product, but this product goes in and out of stock very, very frequently um, when I got it and up until now. And like, I have a lot of lighters, or lighters, highlighters, but I seem to always grab this one, which is the Anastasia Illuminator and So Hollywood. This baby is so beautiful, like on the skin. Cause like a lot of highlighters these days are a little glittery for me and I'm not a big fan of like glittery highlighter um but this one gives you just a beautiful glow and like i feel like you could build it and it's just it's universal like it can give that look of like a glow within and then if you want like a bam blinding highlight like this high this illuminator is just ugh. again i keep grabbing it because it's so good especially like under the brow bone to highlight the underbrow oh amazing next on my list are two mascaras that I, again, have not been able to put down. One being the new Maybelline Falsies Push Up Angle Liner. Let me show you this. This little brush head. Oh, perfect. I mean, once you do your lashes, it just fans them out. It gives so much volume. And especially, I love this, especially for the lower lashes. It just gives my lower lashes volume and, and not just mine, but any like client I have, oh my God, this, oh, this mascara. The other one is the Maybelline Now Wear. Bear with me, cause this is a mouthful. The Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Hydro Fudge. Girl. But yes, this is another amazing mascara. This, look at this brush head. Gets, oh my God, you're, oh. Like, you have to try it, but it just fans out and gives you just this amazing volume and length. And, oh, like, 
And I'm not a big fan of high-end mascaras. Like, you really have to woo me in for me to spend that money on a mascara. Preferably because I feel like there are so many great drugstore mascaras out there. And let me tell you, these two took it for me for the month. Like, and the way it's looking, and maybe to next month too, because they are just that great. So ladies, gentlemen, I recommend you to go out and get these and try these mascaras because they are the truth. Now, the next two products we'll talk about are not makeup or skincare related necessarily. But again, there's something that I've been trying out this month that I've been trying out every day and haven't been able to stop. Now, the last but not least product on my list. Now, you're going to laugh because it is the Garnier Whole F I was about to say Whole Foods, but I can't talk tonight. Whole Blends Illuminating Shampoo and their condition. And they're both with Moroccan Argan and Chamomile Oils. Now, I know some of y'all are going to be like, but what hair? Yes, my hair may be short, but my hair is very oily, so I do wash my hair every day. And yes, no, it does not dry out my hair. Yes, I've been doing this for a while, and my hair does not, I don't have nothing dry, it does not, no dandruff, no nothing. But let me tell you, these two here, it just, ugh. First of all, mmm. That smell. I'm like, here, smell like I can smell it. But it smells so amazing. Like, mm, it's like fragrance in your, for your hair. Oh, but not only that, but it leaves my hair looking so healthy, so glowy, so shiny, so, and it just, oh my God, it'd be so soft. And I just want to go like this all day, all day, all day. But no, this shampoo and conditioner, oh, love. Like, oh, again. Mm. Like, I could smell this all day. Like, listen, I'm going to need them to make this in a body lotion because I want to rub this all over my body. That's how great it smells. Like, these two, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, yeah, so those are my top picks for January. I hope some of those were very informative. Um, I hope you guys got a little one or two things out of it. Um, if there's any products you want to know about, you want me to try, you have any questions, feel free to reach me. My information will be down for my Instagram and Snapchat. Make sure you follow. Um, I hope you, had, you guys have just as much as fun watching this as I did filming it. Even though it took me like a few times because we had all these bloopers. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. Um, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, tell a friend, repost. You already know. Um, I'm Fernando and I shall see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.